Hello! I'm here to demonstrate with my new garage door opener that's not as squeaky how you can summon the Tesla with the watch. So this is the Apple Watch and the application is the Remote S. Apple Watch, fob within range. Phone within range of the watch. Hold down a force touch, summon in reverse. All right, now we're gonna try and summon it back in. But remember, the key fob has to be within range of the car. Force touch down, summon forward. So it depends on how trusting you are, but at this point, you get out of your car, grab your groceries, go inside, and uh, hope Tesla's got their stuff figured out so the car will stop and not hit the wall of the garage or anything. <laughs> well, you're supposed to stand by, be ready to hit the fob. You know, on your phone or your watch to stop it, but it takes a little bit longer. I'd recommend always having the fob in your hand. So that's how the summon feature works with the Apple Watch. It's, it's pretty cool. If you want to join me on my little trip home from the grocery store, I can elaborate a little bit. So, it's not perfect. It needs a little bit of work in terms of everything has to communicate with each other in order for it to work. So, you have to have the fob close enough to the Tesla that the door is unlock. The Apple Watch has to be able to communicate with the iPhone um, through either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and if you're like in my house where you switch Wi-Fi between the house and the garage that can cause problems so I basically I had to turn off my Wi-Fi to get it to work reliably with my phone and then even even then you got to you know get your watch out you have to go to the home screen you gotta load the Model S app you gotta swipe over four screens and you got a force touch to summon it you can just use the fob <laughs> and you just hold down for about five seconds on the top button and then you just hit back. It's a lot easier and it works a lot better for all like practicality. Now that I've been using this for a couple weeks, I can kind of give an explanation of, of how I've been using it. It's not just a parlor trick or a, you know, something to show off. It's, it's actually kind of useful. Like right now I got groceries, so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna park out in front of my garage, get the groceries out and tell the Tesla to go park itself. So it'll save me the steps of having to, you know, shimmy between our cars because it's, it's a pretty tight fit inside the garage and then close the garage door after I, I get out. And in the mornings too, it's kind of a, it, it's kind of helpful too. If I don't need to charge, I only need to charge maybe um, a couple times a week, then I can, I can get close to the garage and I can tell it to meet me out in front of the garage and that saves me from having to get into the door for the garage and shimmy in and get into the car and carefully back out because the Tesla does a really good job of carefully backing in and out of the garage which is, is kind of a pain because my garage is at a little bit of an angle and it, it, it as you can see in the video the steering wheel is moving around because it's 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 figuring the angle that it has to get out of the garage door and around my house so it doesn't hit my house it's actually pretty cool. So that's kind of um, my experience with it. It's it's 
it's also kind of neat if anybody parks really close to you in a parking lot, you can tell it to back out so you don't have to, you know, open your, your door and like kind of slide out sideways. <laughs> it just makes it a lot easier. So that's, that's kind of where I've used that a couple times. It's pretty cool. Please post comments below if you have any questions on how the summon feature works. I think I'm, I'm, back, I'm at home right now, so just kind of explain how this is going to work. Is I got home, my garage door opened automatically because of the home link and GPS awareness. I'm going to get out, I'm going to grab my groceries, and I'm going to tell it to park itself. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining me on my little trip. I hope you enjoyed the video at the beginning. It was kind of fun. I mounted uh, cameras all over the car and then I got in and I was riding in the back seat while I was summoning it back and forth and uh, it was it was kind of it was kind of neat. <laughs> Please subscribe. Uh, if you like tech videos, let me know what you guys want to see more of. Uh, check out our CES videos. We did a bunch of them last month and we've been trying to get out some some cool little um, Wi-Fi hacking videos and stuff. We'll, we'll do it as soon as it warms up here, uh, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys. Too smart.